In 2014, Wilson Combat and Beretta teamed up to bring us the 92G Brigadier Tactical, a gun that combines some of the best features found on previous Beretta 92 models. The Brigadier Tactical has been an enormous success, and that's paved the way for more collaborations between these two companies. So at the beginning of this year, Wilson unveiled the 92G Compact Carry. Like all Compact 92s, it's got a four and a quarter inch barrel with a shortened grip that holds a 13 round magazine. Thanks to Wilson's input, this gun is offered with a decock only lever, which historically is a feature that's rarely been incorporated into the Compact Model 92s. To be completely honest, when Wilson offered to loan us this gun to review, I wasn't real excited about it. The 92 compacts have always been large and heavy compared to just about any other compact semi-auto on the market. If I wanted to carry a boat anchor, I would just carry a full-size 92. But then I actually started carrying and shooting this thing and uh, changed my mind pretty quickly. At 39 ounces loaded, it is heavy, but the JM Custom Kydex Appendix Carry Holster helps to make that weight manageable, and the short grip disappears under a t-shirt. And at the range, almost immediately, I was shooting this pistol better than I have shot any other compact handgun. Now, that's splitting hairs to some degree. It's not as if I can't hit the broadside of a barn with my PX4 compact, but then I'm somehow winning trophies with this pistol. The performance benefit is noticeable, but practically speaking, not all that significant. And I did just say in my last video that you don't have to have a whole lot of bells and whistles on a capable self-defense pistol, and I stand by that. You probably don't need aggressive grip texture on the front and back strap or G10 grip panels on your Beretta. You don't need a Wilson Combat U-notch rear sight or a target crown barrel that lets you shoot one and a half inch groups at 25 yards with factory ammo. You will almost certainly never have to reload your gun in a fight, so you don't need an extended magazine release, a beveled magazine well, or a Wilson Combat mag guide. And you most definitely don't need Wilson Combat's amazing action job on your trigger. There is almost no chance that those features are going to have any bearing on whether you survive an encounter where you have to actually use your firearm for self-defense. But you don't buy a gun from Wilson Combat because you want to merely survive a gunfight. You go to a company like Wilson because you have already dedicated the time and effort into learning the skills necessary so that if you ever have to use deadly force, you will dominate that encounter and you want to make sure your hardware is equally as refined. And that's the kind of thought that has gone into some of these details when they put together the 92G Compact Carry. Having said that, there are a couple of little things that I would change. Like all Berettas, I wish the finish was a little more durable, and there's no way to change this front sight except to have Wilson Combat drill it out for a fiber optic rod. But other than that, as somebody who has been shooting Beretta 92s a lot, this is pretty close to perfect for a gun I can actually carry that shoots and feels pretty much the same as my training gun. The catch is that Wilson kind of abruptly stopped selling the compact model last month, which apparently had nothing to do with a lack of demand. It's probably related to Beretta's production delays because of their factory move from Maryland to here in Tennessee. So it looks like the 92G compact carry is gonna be tough to come by, at least for the foreseeable future. Fortunately, Wilson Combat still has the Brigadier Tactical and they are still offering all of their Beretta custom services and parts. So if you've got a standard 92 Compact, there is a lot of cool stuff they can do for you. And uh, I really, in general, just think Wilson Combat has breathed new life into the 92 series. And I think we're just seeing the beginning of what they're gonna be able to do with these pistols. I've got some additional information about the 92G Compact Carry today on our blog at luckygunner.com slash lounge, or you can find the direct link in the video description.